Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Oman Zivius, but you can call me G, and today we are looking at the question, Will Toontown Rewritten have an open beta? This question has been circling around on the forums lately, and I thought in this video I would look at the negatives and positives of having an open beta, along with my personal opinion at the end. One of the main advantages for the player is that we will be able to get into the game sooner rather than later, allowing them to see the world of TTR before the game is released and everything is done. A problem with this is that the TTR devs will be flooded with little bugs, problems that are easily fixed by the player and other little things. This would mean that the devs would work on the big things such as the election a lot slower, as they fix small problems that don't really need to be fixed right away. Another advantage is that the sudden surge of players would stress test the servers to see how well they can cope with thousands of players online at once. This would be good for the devs as they would be able to see what needs to be changed in the coding and how powerful and reliable the servers need to be. This could also lead to a SimCity like problem, where the servers are never up and people complain constantly that they can't get in. This would also push back bigger development as the devs work on updating code to make the server more stable. This would also be a big slap in the face to all those who got beta keys as they would become irrelevant since everyone could now get into TTR and there would be no point in even entering to get the keys. A disadvantage for pushing TTR into open beta is that it could possibly mean that the full release of TTR would be relatively unimportant, which I can assume the devs don't want it to be. I can imagine that TTR will launch with some spectacular display, something like the election, and an important moment in the game, such as seeing the chairman or someone along that lines. And of course, if they pushed it into open beta, the full release would still be great, but it wouldn't be nearly as memorable, for me anyway. Let's take Minecraft for example. I play Minecraft back in alpha, and before the game even fully released, millions of people already had the game. So even though the full release of Minecraft 1.0 was epic and fun to watch, it wasn't nearly as interesting as we already had our hands on the game. I feel that this problem would carry over into TTR. So now for my opinion. In my opinion, I think that open beta would not be a good idea for the game. As much as I want to get into the world of Toontown and beat the boss bot, VP, CFO and law bot, I also want to see the game in a finished state where people won't complain about bugs and server lag. It also means that the devs can work, can make TTR and the release of TTR as spectacular as possible and people will care more since it will mean that they can actually play the game when this event happens. Tell me what your opinion is on this in the comments below, and also, if you could possibly answer this question for the next video, which I'll be talking about, which is, what can the devs add to the game once they have completed all the features in TTO? What could they put in? What Could they add in a chairman kind of boss battle? Could they add in more gags, different kind of tracks? All that kind of stuff. So talk about that in the comments, give me some feedback, tell me whether this video was interesting or not. Uh, thank you for watching guys. If you liked it, click the like. If you want to see more of my videos, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.